Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show. I'm your host, Definition, aka your friendly neighborhood spoiler man, and the post credit scene for Morbius has reportedly leaked. Throughout this video, we're going to be breaking down what apparently happens after the credits roll and how it connects to the MCU. There's also a couple of fans that claim to have spotted the living vampire himself in Spider-Man Homecoming, so we'll be going over that too to discuss whether we think it's true or not. There will be heavy spoilers here, and whilst all leaks like this should be taken with a grain of salt, it does tie in together with the trailer, so it makes a lot of sense. Still, it could turn out to be untrue, but yeah, we don't want to potentially ruin anything, which this video will likely do, as certain elements of it seem legitimate. We're really selling this video to you, aren't we? If you're still here, I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking the video. Now let's get into our breakdown of the leaked Morbius post credit scene. Okay, so this leak comes from We Got This Covered, and yup, I wouldn't normally cover what they got, got us, but what? But it does seem to line up a lot with the trailer, and once I get into it, you'll see why people are giving this a lot of weight. The article itself was later reblogged on IMDb, so yeah, it does seem to be getting picked up by fairly reputable sources, and because of this, it seems like something we could be getting in the final film. Anyway, according to the website, this leak comes from the same source that told them that Kevin Conroy would be playing the Kingdom Come version of Batman, that Daniel Radcliffe was eyeing up Moon Knight, and that Gal Gadot would wear Golden Eagle armor in Wonder Woman 1984. They often say stuff like this before articles to sound more genuine, but I did go back and specifically look at those reports and line up the dates, and to be fair to them, they did post them way before they were officially announced, so yeah, this seems more genuine. Anyway, according to the website, we have already seen the first post credit scene, and this centers around Jared Leto's character, Michael Morbius, coming face to face with Michael Keaton's Adrian Toomes, aka the Vulture. The character who was last seen in Spider-Man Homecoming makes a big splash in the trailer, and the cameo was almost like a post credit scene for the teaser. This moment was so big that it made Michael Keaton, Morbius, and Vulture trend on Twitter after its release, and fans like myself who were a bit so-so on the film definitely got hooked by this scene. It pretty much made the movie a must watch for me, and though there was a Spider-Man poster seen earlier in the trailer, the cameo just made the connection to the MCU seem a lot more legitimate. Sony clearly wanted to roll this out first to let everyone know from the off that their movies are now connected, and no matter what Kevin Feige says, they got him. They got you Feige, now you gotta bring them all over, ha ha ha! After going back and watching it, reading comments and so on, it seems like quite a lot of people online said they believe that this would be the post credit scene of the film anyway, and that they dropped it in the trailer because marketing wise, it would make sense to at least show something to get people into seats. The line that Toomes says also makes a lot of sense as to why this would be a post credit scene, as Keaton says, got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? So this fits into the story with Morbius clearly having met him before. From this it also sounds like in the first meeting that he may have offered Morbius something, you know, something sinister, something on a black couch. If you want to be in more movies you've got to do this kind of thing Morbius. Anyway from the looks of it Morbius rejected whatever this thing was and he later changed his mind and then encountered the character and this is why Toomes asked if he stopped being a good guy. It does make a lot of sense to me, and though it raises a lot of questions, it ties in with certain things. We can see from the trailer that, at some point, Morbius does escape prison due to his jumpsuit, so it is possible that the two characters met there and then re-encountered one another after the main storyline of the film. This clearly isn't the first time that the two characters have met, and we may even get this and several other cameos littered throughout the movie. There are rumours that Tom Holland and Tom Hardy may be making cameos, but I think at best these will be in the background of scenes. Perhaps an Eddie Brock news report will play on a TV screen in the background and, and Holland may even pop up on a poster similar to what happened at the end of Far From Home. Who knows, Eddie Brock may be reporting on the Peter Parker murder story and this would be a neat way to tie the two together. Anyway, back to the point at hand, I think that Morbius and Tombs meeting once more lines up with what we've seen and it does all point towards one thing. Something, something dark side, I mean sinister. According to the source, the second post credit scene has Tombs introducing Morbius to none other than Dr. Otto Octavius, the man responsible for the original Sinister Six in 1964. The context of the scene is unclear, however, this does build upon the prior line. If this is true, then potentially Morbius bumped into Tombs in prison and was offered a position in the supervillain team before turning it down. We do know that Scorpion is locked up with Tombs, so they could have formed a union. 
Morbius likely turned it down, but after the events of the film, went back to Tombs to take up the offer. If this turns out to be true, then I think it'll be a massive moment in Spider-Verse history. Sony at this point are likely trying to set up the Sinister Six after they failed to see this through due to the amazing Spider-Man 2 not getting a sequel. Sony definitely want a Sinister Six film and it seems like the most logical step to take. Again, I do think that this report is probably legitimate because when you rewatch the trailer, it doesn't really seem like the kind of thing that would pop up in the middle of a movie and this is definitely perfect post credit scene material. It was speculated that Jared Harris was going to be playing the infamous Doc Ock, however he later denied this. Who knows though, obviously he's going to deny because if this is a big reveal then they will still want to keep it a secret. I am kind of in two minds about this as I do actually think that Harris would be a brilliant Doc Ock, but then again the actor has said he's not doing it so yeah who knows. He did completely kill it in Chernobyl, has a similar sort of look to the Doc and comes across as very intelligent, but yeah if he said he's not doing it then he probably won't be, unless he wants to be in more movies. You know what you need to do Jared. I'll, I'll stop doing that joke now, I promise. There's also a theory that we may have already seen Morbius in Spider-Man Homecoming and eagle-eyed fans could have potentially spotted the character in a way that ties into the aforementioned information. Before we get into the fan theory though, I just want to let you know we're giving away a free copy of Doctor Sleep to one random subscriber. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on the leaks in the comment section below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 15th of February and the set will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. Ok so if you're a fan of the MCU then you'll know that Marvel often retcon things into their films. We saw this in the case of Peter Parker being retroactively put into Iron Man 2 and last year we reported on a theory that old Steve Rogers was at Peggy Carter's funeral which was later confirmed by the writers of the film. They often go back and do this because it's just fun for the fans and it makes rewatching the movies a bit more cohesive as everything kinda ties together. This fan theory fits a similar aesthetic with many claiming that Morbius shows up as a prisoner during the post credit scene of Spider-Man Homecoming. Homecoming ends with the meeting of Adrian Toomes and Scorpion who both realise that they're locked up together. It's the start of the world's worst bromance but there is potentially a lot more going on here. The theory says that the bearded man that walks behind Scorpion will actually be revealed to be Morbius and that this will be retconned into the film to connect the two universes. As you can see the shot does have a bearded guy in it, however this is just a coincidence and yeah it's definitely not Jared Leto. However, as we know, Marvel don't mind retconning things, so there is potential that it could indeed end up being in Morbius, and who knows, if Sony are smart, they could show this scene from the perspective of Morbius and this would set up how the two characters met. He has long hair and a beard, and it's probably where most of the prisons L'Oreal goes to, and he also does bear some resemblance to how the character looks in the film, so there is some leeway here to connect the two. As mentioned earlier, Toomes clearly knows Morbius, and with him being locked up they likely met in prison, so this presents the perfect opportunity for them to bump into one another. I would love it if they went back and did this, and then it's revealed to fans that we actually got to see the Sinister Six meeting all the way back in 2017's Homecoming. It would make for an awesome way just to tie everything together, and I would really love it if they managed to pull this together and be like, we were here the whole time, F yo couch, because the, cou the couch thing... <laughs> Now obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on the leaks and if you think this will happen in the film. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and make sure you check out our breakdown of the first look at US Agent in the upcoming show Falcon and the Winter Soldier which is going to be linked at the end. We go over everything you need to know about the costume and what it means for the universe so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. Also, if you want to support the channel from as little as 99 cents a month, then please click the join button below. We massively appreciate it and it goes a long way to help making videos like this. You get access to content early and can choose what topics we cover, so please consider donating. If you want to come chat to us after the video, then either follow us at DefinitionYT or click the Discord link in the description below. Those are the best ways to keep up to date with the channel and hopefully we see you over there very soon. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.